Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Teflon Dunn with the guns, man. I just want to show y'all up close look at my new Glock build. Well, I had it for a minute, but it's new to y'all because I don't show much of it, but here I am now. So I'm going to start out by saying this is the Glock 45 Gen 5 mouse. And I did some little tweaking to it myself to get it to the stage that it's in right now. Start by saying the very first thing I did after I bought this Glock 45 mouse, I went and bought the Timothy Alpha Trigger because everybody else got binary triggers and stuff like that. And I see a lot of good reviews about Timothy Alpha Trigger. See me, it's all about shooting fast and fluently, efficiently. So I wanted something I can actually rely on the reason why I got this gun right here and this trigger instead of a binary or something like that. Timothy Alpha Triggers for the Gen 5. They are reasonable price and they definitely good for the value and stuff. So can't go wrong with a Timothy Alpha Trigger. And I think it breaks at like two pounds, three pounds, if I'm not mistaken. And I swap my barrel out of my shadow system just so I can have a threaded barrel without the compensator. So this is my shadow system threaded barrel. TLR7. So anybody who EDC a gun or carry a gun every day and you plan on really carrying that gun all the time in daytime, nighttime, whatever time it is, you're going to want a flashlight on your gun and you're going to want something small and compact per se. A lot of people like big flashlights like the TLR1 because it sticks out so you can hit someone in the head with it and stuff like that and still clear the barrel. But me personally, I don't. I like mine to be short and flush. Just get a good little hand on it like that. Trigger pad. So I got Timothy Alpha Trigger and the TLR7 on my Glock with the Shadow System 30 barrel. I actually have a uh, KKM comp, KKM comp and 30 barrel combo for this, but I can put that inside the Shadow System. That's fun. Here it is right here. So this is the barrel that originally goes into my Glock 45 KKM precision barrel and comp. So in that the case, I put the Hollison 508 on here since I got a 507 on here. Tyron, Tyron, Tyron Tactical Magazine with the Magwell on um, Glock Magazine with the six pound Magwell. I mean, with the six round extension Magwell. Magazine extension, I mean, and Tyron Tactical Magazine. So we got the magazine and the Magwell of Tyron Tactical. So this, they call it the Rolling Special Glock. I call it the Super Glock, how a Glock's supposed to look. So I got the Shadow System and the Glock 45 miles. These are both my everyday carries. I got holsters on and stuff like that. Holsters that can carry the gun and the magazine at the same time. And 20 round, 20 round extension in here from the Glock 19X. Got a sister MR920 Elite with the um, 507C red dot. This one got a green dot 508. So yeah, these are my two everyday carries. But this is supposed to be about the Glock 45, so I host the up back up. Anyway, I got the Glock 45 with the Timothy Alpha Trigger 507C Terran Tactical Madwell and uh, magazine extension and an anarchy base plate. Shadow system 3D barrel have been running pretty good inside of this um, build. Like I thought I would be having some problems or something, but surprisingly the shadow system barrel actually works well in the Gen 5s. If you know, you know, right? So there you have it, my Glock 45 Gen 5 with the Hollison and TLR7, Timothy Alpha Trigger. and green dot site.